and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo in our now lit up sandbox zoo. I'm fairly certain that this zoo is producing enough light for I don't know what, but that's fine. We have a lot of lamps, we have a lot of flowers, we have a lot of gardeners, a lot of water, It's we have a lot of everything. <laughs> Anyways, um, I might have placed too many lamps <laughs> over here. <laughs> But that's okay and yeah i feel like this is almost not lit up a lot but that's just because there's no light in any of the habitats i also added some lamps to the entrance not too many hopefully and now we're going to make our beaver habitat um so on one hand we do have the little swimming pool in here but i also want them to have a nice water area outdoors so we're just quickly going to do that around here yes Because, you know, like they, they should have access to like water everywhere, they're beavers. They need a lot of water. What do you mean obstructed? But can you please go up there? It looks so much better when it's up there. What is this? This, this water probably isn't deep enough for them to like swim either. Let me just... Because they do need deep water specifically. I mean, I'm like fairly certain that the amount of deep water that they have inside, if they can access it, is enough. But, you know, just to be sure. Oh, there's visitors here, like... <laughs> They're just gonna stare at the glass wall and be like, ooh, animals, ooh. Um, so, you know the drill. No barriers starting from here. Because we do have a fence. Like, we do have a regular, a partial regular fence, so this is fine. Um... Yeah. This is fine. Everything is alright. <laughs> Nothing to worry about whatsoever. No, not at all. Um... No, 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 go, go through. No, 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 no. Come on, game. Did I just did I place that or did I not? Where is that glass now? Am I placing glass now? No. Did you just see that? It's like, yeah, I'm gonna let you place this. Oh no, maybe not. Game, are you okay? Are you confused by the existence of many barriers close to each other? Like, I'm very sorry, but you have to. Stay. Oh dear. No. No. <laughs> no. Okay, now you can connect. You just have to be careful with this kind of stuff because otherwise you have like a, a free space somewhere. I'm not sure what average water depth they need to be honest, but, but let's just get our eight beavers. And then we can um, complain about the beavers later. What's the North American? I, I would forget the name. Just saying. A North American beaver. Confirm. One, two, three, four. Oh, he looks fluffy. I mean, they all look fluffy. A North American beavers, of course, they're fluffy. So, I just actually we have three thousand visitors. It's cool because we have 3,000 visitors, but there's no major crowds anywhere. It's just like, there's a lot of people collecting here. But other than that, it's okay. Okay, so now. Let us see if the beavers can climb the ramps. Not really. Okay. So my beautiful ramps here were for nothing. I have to find some other way to do this. Because I want them to be able to get in there. Ah, uh, construction. Now, the problem is that all... Can't flip these, can I? No. And all floor pieces I have are 4 meters wide. Yes. Ah, uh, maybe they can run on wall decorations. <laughs> like, um... No, but these are all really, really thin. Uh... Hmm. 
limestone wall maybe can i can i flip you three no no i can't okay one can always hope okay like can you stop popping can i turn you around yeah i could use glass panels and that would probably look really weird Bustable panels. If it works, I'm not even gonna be mad at it. Like, let's just try that. No, 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 don't do that. No, I said no. Why are you doing weird shit game? Why don't you just let me have fun? Anyways, gonna have this one. It's not straight. <sighs> that should be okay. This one up, it's also not straight in this alignment. How can you- how can this happen? I didn't even do anything to it. Like, genuinely. <laughs> Why does the world hate me that much? Anyways, let's see if the beavers can climb that. I mean, they should be able to. They're beavers. I just want to make sure before I do anything else with it. So let's press play. See if they can get up there. Yes. Okay. So next we take the same material, which is uh, 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 somewhere up here. I think they're these plaster wall panels, right? Can I have a two by two panel? Yeah. So I'm going to take a two by two panel. Try to get that to be like ugh. straight. Thanks. So that I can put that up here to work as a connector piece, right? Like this. And then I'll take another... Is this through the wall? Well, no, it works. It doesn't poke through. Okay. And then I take another 2 by 4 piece and pop that on he here. Mm -mm. Mommy, the game hates me. I mean, not that that's anything new, but... You know, even at its worst, the game still loves you more than Dominic Myers, and that's all that matters. Question is, does this already touch the water? Yeah. Because I need this to line up perfectly, because otherwise I'll be complaining. There we go, let's see if the beavers can climb that. Okay, let's see if the water in there becomes available for them as water. Yes, good. They can go in there to swim. That's all I wanted, because that should give them... It actually doesn't give them enough deep water, because it needs to be more than two meters deep. And uh, how much water... I mean, this is obviously more than two meters deep, but it's... Uh, can I click the water? I want to click the water, game, not the anything else, the water. <laughs> Yeah, it's only 115 square meters, so it's obviously not enough for all of those beavers. So we do have to go under the water here, box all the beavers, because otherwise this isn't going to work. Um, animals. Also, one of them, one of them is hurt. Yay. Always love it when you buy sick animals from of water. Um, and then we need to take this water that is here and just make it a lot deeper. Basically, because they do want a lot of like swimming area that is actually deep. Uh, it needs to be at least two meters in the areas that the game will consider to be deep. So let's try this. Game, are you? Oh, okay. Ah. Worked. I like it, but it worked. Animals. Unbox all animals. Let's see. Um. Uh, right. Are you too fat to use the ramp? No, no, he can access that. But that's more than 64 square meters 
like the water in oh, I guess it's not square it's, it's cubic what is it? oh are they is this cubic no it's square can you access the other pool here yeah so uh, let me guess this is navigable area and this is water area so is that navigable or Anyway, this should be enough deep water for you, like... Most of this is deeper than two meters. You know? Like... Anyways, let's uh, box them up again and figure out what's going on. It's like the main issue with animals like this. Sometimes the, the deep water thing is... Uh, because like this is all deeper than two meters, like all of it. Like I'm gonna give them a giant hole if they want one. Goodness, but it's all deeper than two square meters. Oh well, two meters <laughs> deeper than two square meters. Mm. Yes, me very good at math. Me very good with numbers. Uh, let me just pull this up here. Because we do need no, 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 we do need this to be normal. Because there's a door here, and I do need my staff to be able to get in. But like, all of this should be deep water now. You know what? I'm not even mad if this is enough space for them. Sure, why not? How are we feeling? Yeah, no, I don't believe that. I do not believe that. There's This water here is deeper than two meters. Yeah. Yeah, I don't- no, no, I just- I just do not believe that, okay? Like, you can say whatever you want to, but you have enough water space. Maybe that's still bugged, I don't know. Like, this is deeper than two meters. And this is more than 64 square meters of, like, space. Like, all of this is more than 64 square meters. Anyways, uh, they want short grass. Oh no! Look at that! <laughs> Um, I just want to take a screenshot of this real quick because um, I think it's funny. And then like have a screenshot in comparison to the whole zoo. This is what happens whenever you place new animals in a zoo and it's just so funny. It's like, oh my god, there's new animals. Wait, you don't have enough space now. That's fine. We're going to make islands with stones. Okay? Like going to go and i'm going to take tiger rock and do i have tempered rocks because those are the ones i'm going to use tempered rocks and you're going to get an island and you're going to love it okay and you're going to recognize it as space because otherwise i'm going to get unhappy just place that just about water edge oh that should count as space, I hope. Let's see. Is that more space now? Well, yeah, a bit, but not enough. Can you climb? They can't climb. I'm never quite sure with animals, because some of them just can't climb. Like, you know, like you drop them in like anything and they'd have to climb half a meter and they won't manage. So I'm very, very careful with animals having to climb in this game. It's not their fault, just... Sometimes they're really bad at it. So, you know, you gotta be kind of careful with where you place what. Just gonna use a lot of these smaller bits to kind of make it look a bit more like an island. And a little less like I just tossed a couple of rocks in the lake, which is what we did. But no one has to know that. People can just believe that this is all natural. Obviously. 500% natural stone island in the water. I have enough space, but I'm just gonna make some floaties while I'm at it. This is something I usually like to do for water heavy habitats, because, you know, you'll have the water, but you also kind of have 
um, space that's not water. Without having these huge, like, um, open areas, I guess. So, yeah, let's just figure this out. I act like I know what I'm doing. I do not, by the way. Like, <laughs> never really know what I'm doing. Oh, now they have. Now they can access the water space. With what? Can the big boys access it too? Apparently. Okay, um, before you rise, I'm going to turn the game back to- Ow. Ow. Daylight. So you can actually see something. I, I know that YouTube is kind of pissy about that. Um. So here is our beaver island. I'm going to be placing some wood for them to climb on here, obviously. But look at those lads. Hello. I wonder if any of them are in- yeah! Oh, that's so cool! You know, it's a really, really basic thing and it's not my best design, but um, I like it. I'm gonna have to decorate it, obviously. But it's a way for the visitors to, like, be able to see them swimming and I think that's pretty cool. There's poop up there. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, uh, so I've never worked with beavers before- I do grassland. With beavers? Uh, they're new animals as far as I'm concerned. So decorating the habitat is going to be fun. Ooh, let's... They're beavers, right? Like... I feel like that would kind of look cool. Do I have other dead trees I can work with? Yeah. Oh, they actually specifically have branches, but they're tiny. What am I supposed to do with that? Tiny! <laughs> I guess I could have like one or two floating around in the water, but they're still tiny, so... You know, I don't really see how that would add to the building of anything. Um, and I don't want to have a barrier per se, I just want to have some floating trees, you know? But I guess we'll just mostly have to use these because the game isn't giving me a lot of options for trees that are dead, um, that also fit the biome. Um, here maybe, and then a little, uh, and a little more upwards? I do want to give this, like, the idea of a semi, you know, like, beavers down, kind of. I don't know if they can actually walk over that, which would be really... they can't. Would be cool. I wasn't expecting it. So, yeah. It'd still be kind of nice. Oh, goodness. Ugh, beaver, what are you doing? This beaver just killed my frame rate. Yeah, like, now it's back to normal and the beaver was just like, Goodbye, framerate. I've not known you. Um. Okay. But rose bushes. We need rose bushes because this is still supposed to look like a classy palace garden. And the owner of this classy palace garden would obviously put a crap ton of rose bushes into it. Like. Let's be honest. They would. The owner of this garden is also obviously not me. No. Ooh. No. Kind of cute, kind of also weird to work with. Um, maybe, maybe that's a no. I do want a weeping willow up here. Um, like this. See? Ta-da! Now it already looks really, really fancy and I haven't even done much. Some birch trees on the edges. Anyone who has a birch allergy is not allowed to come into the zoo, by the way. If you have a birch allergy, just um, stay outside. Don't breathe in this zoo. Just... <laughs> oh, look what I discovered. I can use wisteria for this habitat. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and use later.
if I can do weird stuff with a shit ton of plants, I will. Um, also, YouTube, please don't delete my videos because I'm swearing. They're not for kids, okay? Um, I don't. I'm not feeling the cedar trees. I think I'm going for more of like a leaf forest vibe. How about a sugar maple or a aspen? Uh, mm, hmm. What do you guys think? Yellow or orange? I'm not sure. I think both of them would kind of look nice. Ah, we also have pink flowers. But I'm not feeling pink flowers. I don't know, maybe an elm tree in the back? Ah, uh, well, we can do cypress trees, so obviously we're going to have some cypress trees lining this in the back, because it, it's still our zoo. It would still have the weird cypress trees going on everywhere. Like, why is this floating? Why are you floating? <laughs> trees are, like, just vibing. And I'm going to be adding some of these, because I can... And because I want the place to look pretty. Uh, once again, I feel very, very sad for the gardener and for whoever has to clean everything here, including the water. But it looks pretty, so I don't really care. Yeah, like, I would not want to work in the zoo as a gardener or um, anything, really. Maybe as a, maybe, maybe as an animal caretaker or something. You know, that would probably be okay. Because at least the animals would all be in decent condition. Uh, but also, they probably all eat all the poisonous plants we have here. Um, so it, it might not be that fun after all, I don't know. Imagine building like a habitat for like, I don't know, a cat species, like, like big cats. And you put plants in there that they're allergic to. But you didn't know that they're allergic to them and then all of your cats die and you just like lost 15 tigers or something. Yeah, that's me. That's me when planning a zoo. Just like, oh, it's pretty. What it's poison is, I don't care. It's pretty. Um. Uh, maybe some more here in the back. I don't want to put too many water lilies because it's going to look weird. Put some more. There we go. Yeah. You know what? I think it's not a bad look for like a... No, no, no. Stop doing that. <laughs> um... Me trying to take a screenshot. It escalated. I think it's not that bad for a basic beaver habitat. We gotta make this indoor thing look a lot better, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's an okay, like, rough idea for the beavers. So we have that part done. Well, not done, but we have a rough plan of what's going on over here. And then you will have two more habitats and then uh, I'm not sure if I want to put the next area over here. I'm also not sure if I want to have a wall between them or just like... Because like I don't want to have a path going around, around here because this is the back of the habitats. So that would be kind of weird. But we could... Um, I mean, I'm sorry if I randomly jump from one point to the other. I'm just trying to get this zoo to a point where I can work with it. Maybe do like a path thing like this, right? Um, and on one hand, we could we select grid, angle, snap, short. That's a 90 degree angle. Like, I'm not insane. think so <laughs> we could have this so that we have a path over there and from the same curve this straight are these paths straight to each other I'll just have to assume it, I guess. That looks a little weird, doesn't it? Because it's like a, a wonky curve. Can I just unwonk the curve? Maybe, maybe one day. Um, but basically, no, this isn't straight, is it? 
I don't think so. Mm, yeah. Plant a grid here. Maybe just do it like that. And, you know, then this could be another part of the zoo, sort of like this here. And then here we'd still have a path that went back out so this wouldn't be suddenly cut off. And we could have a habitat here up front or something. Planning is difficult when you have a giant zoo. But I, I think it's okay so far. So, uh, yeah, we now have two new habitats. For our uh, African buddies. <laughs> no. American. Freaking brain. Okay. American. Not African. Not Australian. American. I'm sorry. My brain is stupid today. Um, You do look very happy in here at least. And how are, our, how are you doing, lads? Hello. Yes. I think they're okay as well. <laughs> um... So, uh, yeah. That's it for today's episode, I think. Yeah, I'm at 26 minutes and I don't want to... Otherwise, it's going to take forever if I continue decorating. Um, as always, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I hope I'll see you again in the next episode where we get to finish our beaver habitat and uh, maybe plan the next habitat. I'm very careful as I'm saying this because we all know I'm going to spend 50 minutes doing this indoor area. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you have a nice day and uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye.